Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingsfield 2. So, I'm going to be continuing to move forward for the time being. I do want to head back to Kist because I eventually, mainly because I really want to um, check on the treasure chest in the ancient battlefield, check on the treasure chest I'm missing Kist, but we're going to have to go back there anyways eventually. So I'm thinking, you know what, for the time being, let's keep traveling, moving ahead a bit. And I'll probably get another Icarus item that'll let me travel fast warp around. So that is what I'm currently thinking. And maybe during the middle of this let's play I'll change my mind. But that is where I'm at. So I think we're going to end up in a, um, a water area. I don't remember exactly what it's called. But we'll still continue to head forward there. Head forth there. And the Aquarius boost should come in handy. So again, the poison doesn't really matter too much because of my silver ring. And here we are. So, yeah, I think the poison will score off on its own. So again, I don't think in general there are secret passages in this type of area. Mm, uh, other than that amazing one that had the silver key in it. Ooh, music's gone. Music change. Music change. Awesome. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. I almost want to check this wall. Even though I know there's nothing. Just a habit. Whoa, what's down in this area? I saw the person. Who are, whoa, who are you? Crazy lady. You have like a cool crown hood. Crown hoodie. I want a crown hoodie. Alright, let's find out. Let's find out the truth about you, lady. Zol Arifin, the Archmage of Water. Zol is also known as the Archmage of Healing. She holds the key to the bridges necessary to cross Lake Noel. But without the right boots, the bridges are useless to you anyway. Guess what? I have the right boots. The Aquarius boots, they are equipped! Unless they're called the Aquarian boots. I think it's Aquarius. Oh, they are Aquarian boots. I got my Aquarian boots. I'm good to go. Let's talk to her. If she's the Archmage of Water, shouldn't she be teaching us magic? I am the caretaker of this lake. No one has crossed here for over 10 years, not since the solid bridge was destroyed. There is a water bridge that was erected by Orladen a long time ago. But no one can cross the water bridge without the Aquarian boost, which I got. And thus far, no one has been worthy of this gift. 10 years ago, I was forced to destroy the ancient stone bridges that spanned our beautiful lake. I did it to prevent any demons from crossing to this side. I can change the location of the water bridge by turning the dial in this room. So he who crosses by Orladen's permission will have no need of stone bridges anyway. The path you have taken is called the Path of Poison. The path was made by Orladen. I believe the boots are still there. No one who has gone this way has ever returned. I will open the gate if you will give me the medicinal herb. Once, you, once inside, you can change the location of the bridge for yourself. Man, What medicinal herb do you want? I have herbal herbs. Earth herbs, that's a medicinal herb. Is that what you would like? Would you like so I could give you bromine? I've got plenty of that. I'm assuming the medicinal herb is not the same herb as what we have, and I'm assuming this is gonna be locked. But sealed. It doesn't open. I'm gonna save my game again because it's right here. Even though it didn't really make much progress. So I don't think we're gonna need the silver ring for the time being. So I'm gonna go ahead and unequip that and re-equip my global amulet. Uh, until we see more poison, but unless you're like in a poison infested area, uh, I usually don't find too much need for the poison poison guard equipment. So let's use an item. I don't know what it does exactly. I don't quite understand it. Although it's like an overall resistance. Oh look, so th that would be the uh, a water bridge. So I'm fine. I can cross. Interesting. There's a skull in there. I think they're trying to trick you. I don't think I can walk in that shallow water. I think you immediately die. Hello. I'm Tim, a traveling merchant. I had heard that dwarves built, dealt in this eastern section, dwelt in this eastern section, so I came here to try to find them. I wanted to buy armor from them, but now I'm stuck. Oh, so he's uh, another merchant. Uh, doesn't have too much, though. No, got too much. Let's find out more about him. Let's find out the truth about him. I don't believe anything you say until I find out the truth. Tim Lindquist. After he tried to start a home security business using rattlesnakes. <laughs> what? He was chased out of his home village. 
He's now a traveling merchant who roams town to town awaiting his next great inspiration. Uh, wow, okay, so a home, so I don't know, I think I want to do that. Instead of a security system, I want to use rattlesnakes. I'm following Tim's advice. Unfortunately, I can't get past this lake. The bridge that you used to span these waters is gone, and I've heard that you have to have some special boots or whatever the hell to go across the strange place which took its place. I imagine that's what you really meant to say. You mean these aquarium boots I'm wearing right now? Uh, okay, that's all you got for us. That's all you got. So, that basically just forces you to check out the area that we were in. Oh, the tree people, just like in Kingsfield 1. Oh, what do you know? I think the tree people just hit me. Oh, I forgot that that was my magic attack I was using. Ah, God, stupid tree people. Stop hitting me, tree people. What? I th I, that I thought I was, a, was a hit. That one's gotta be. There we go. So, magician's key if something... If it's not just open. Uh, okay, it's open. What's inside? A moonstone. A moonstone lies inside. And that's everything. Unless I can somehow get through these trees. No. Nope, nope. Looks like my HP is healing up too. Yeah, I think this guy's. Yeah, there he goes. Shooting that blue magic spell at us. That's actually the same spell he has in Kingsfield 1. So, let's go ahead and run across with our awesome Aquarium boots. Also, let's trick class this area. Lake Noel. This lake was named after the beloved and beautiful Queen Noel. No one visits the lake anymore. Not since the Archmage of Water, Zola Arfin, removed the bridges to halt the demon traffic across the lake. So I guess those demons just got stuck there. The tree demons! I really want to go check out that skeleton, but I really am pretty positive I will just fall and die. That would be an elf arrow. Can I travel this way? Uh, I don't think so. I'm gonna say I don't think it wraps around. Step and safe. Yeah, aquarium boots. So now, now, I guess the idea is to find that medicinal herb and give it to the Archmage of Water so then she can make some new water bridges for us, or at least she's where it is. Although I guess I'd be the one, right? That's what Mission made sound like. I'd be the one to change up those water gates. Uh, lamppost, I think. Okay. Okay, lamppost. Uh, I would seem to have been wrong. Alright, so that looks like a fast travel location. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, that's all instant death there. There's no way my character can travel even on these shallow waters. Hmm. Actually, you know what, I'm really honestly not totally sure what to do at this point. I thought this water bridge was going to lead us to the, where we needed to go. So, what do I do? Damn you, lamp! You tell me nothing! You are telling me nothing. I guess I could go back to the beginning. And... Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to some of these NPCs again. Sorry, I really don't remember. This is... Crazy! Unfortunately, I can't get past this lake. Alright, I know that. I know you can't get past the lake. Alright, I've got my aquarium boots. What more do you want from me? Okay, so you want a medicinal herb. I'm assuming it's not an earth herb that you're talking about, but I will use it anyways. I will open the gate. I will open the gate now. The next is bloodstone for this. I would be glad to open the gate for you again. Okay, so all she wanted was a earth herb, apparently. Ooh, what what do these symbols? Oh, this is apparently where the uh, the gates are connecting. So see that water gate up there? That's where I was. That's showing that connection. So then the next one I need is a bloodstone. All right. Uh, let's see, if there's any secret passages in here? Well, I guess the medicinal herb was an earth herb. <laughs> Wonder how many people were screaming at me when I was saying it couldn't be an earth herb. That's not right. Let's go with a tree glass at this thing, even though it probably won't tell us. Okay. One dent will make... Okay, that makes a bunch more. Oh. Okay, I can't use them. Wait, I can't use them yet. 
which so there's a lot of different pathways to traverse and try. Not sure. Okay, that one at least leads us to something. So maybe that's the one to try. I just want to see what all these do. So purple's a good one. This gray is a good one. Green. I guess that leads us to an edge one, so that could be good. And pink. I think is where it started, right? Yeah, so pink is terrible. I don't agree with that. I think pink is, pink is pretty great. Uh, and that looks like mainly areas I'm gonna be able to go anyways, so let me just double check. So, those two on the sides... I'll be able to go to anyways, right? So yeah, red's gonna take me to all the left ones. Purple will take me... I'm just seeing if that, like, that little top notch I can never get to without that. Cause you know me, I gotta explore everything. I gotta explore everything. Okay, that's gonna... Take us. Okay, let's just do this green one. Just because. Green looks pretty good to me. It should be hitting most of them, so that second one looks pretty pointless too, I think. Gotta use our wits, gotta use our smarts, so we don't need to keep giving our stuff. Just keeps on asking and asking for different things. I'm like, hey, come on, I'm trying to save everybody here. Just relax. What are you guys called this time around? Log Stalker. I think that's what they were calling Kingsfield 1. The dried up logs in the woods became living things after the king's dramatic change. They were possessed by demons and now will assault people with magic and with their sharp branches. Their weakness is fire. Oh, is it now? I don't know if you know this, but I got a firewall just waiting to blast out in your face. I just want to use it because firewall so far hasn't come in too handy, and I'm happy to see a creature weak to magic. BAM! Okay. Did not kill you. At all. <laughs> oh well. See, this is nice. My sword's stunning him. He's weak to magic. This is all good stuff. I almost want to switch to fireball just because the charge is less. I just hate that magic charge that takes forever. Yeah, see, that worked just fine. Just fine. Alright, cool. So now we can go across here. We can get to the blue. Alright, I gotta try and like make a mental map in my head now where everything's gonna lead to. And I'm sure, like I said, I think this will be eventually be a fast travel point, because I think that's what the point of these fountain areas are. Other than giving you awesome fountain stuff. Well, I got plenty of uh, medicinal herbs if that's she, what she wants, and antidotes, so... Gotta keep all these items just in case, because you never know. Alright. I just really eventually want to travel and explore every area. So, alright. First one to the left is the fountain. That is our first one to the left. And... Uh, the second island to the left is this little mini island that doesn't have anything. But I think that's the pathway if I want to get to... The big area we'll have to come across here. So that's where that leads to now. Alright. Let's check out the other side. Watermelon head! You're in my way! One hit now. One hit. We are getting stronger. I can feel the, the strength and the power coursing through my body and coursing through my veins. Ha! Long shot. Oh, cool. I didn't realize it wasn't facing me. Double up. Oh, so I think it was, uh. It was Mr. Master Devil who told me one thing you can do with the gold potion the more you use your magic, the more your intelligence powers up and you level up so if you want to you can just spam out and get incredibly powerful awesome spells and you learn more spells the more your uh, different magics level up so your light magic your fire magic earth wind water uh, but I'm not going to do that because I want to kind of just do a playthrough as you would normally play it and I also on top of that I think it would be incredibly boring to watch me do that and I could just do that with the camera off and just like be like guys I'm back with the best spells in the game See, there you go, I got fire magic up, because I use fire magic, have been using fire magic. Uh, so now it's at 42. And then the higher up it gets, the more spells you you, just, you will learn automatically. Alright, I'm glad we came to this far one, because it led us to a treasure chest, which should unlock with the Magician's Key. So we will use that Magician's Key on this. Whoa! 
not only is it a mace, it's like a crazy white mace. Let's see what it's called and what, how good it is. We've got the Volgard. It's an ordinary weapon. Weighs 1.5 kilograms. 1.5 kilograms compared to my... Wait, really? 1.5? Did I ever read that? 1.5 kilograms. I think I wrote rather than the Capricorn. Oh, 6.8. I was looking at the centimeters. I was like, holy crap. Compared to 163 centimeters, this one doesn't make any sense. Anyways, 83, 76, 20, 38. And I have fire magic. Okay, 80, 83, 76, 38. 83, 76, 38. 83, 76, 38. 83, 76, 38. 83, 76, 38. Okay, so stab-wise, this is much better compared to the 38, and also just holy magic damage. So, if I'm fighting someone who's weak to holy magic, holy, and also weak to stabs, this is an awesome weapon. Otherwise, in general, the Capricorn's still better. But I'm gonna use this for a little bit just to see how it does against the log things. Because who knows? Maybe the log things hate stab damage. I don't. I don't know what they're weak to. Chop would make sense to me. I think they'd be weak to chop damage, personally. You know, you get it? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're weak to chop. These creatures are more weak to me. That would turn out. But this one recharges a lot quicker, so that's nice. At least. I would expect it to, but still. Nice to see that. Alright, cool. So we I've mapped out this area a little bit better. Glad I figured it out. The medicinal herb thing, because I would have been very unhappy if I like did all this weird backtracking and not figured it out. Now she wants a moonstone. Get it? You're so greedy. Actually, wait, no bloodstone. She wants a bloodstone. Okay, so let's use a bloodstone. I'm not gonna waste my moonstone on you yet, because I know you're gonna ask for it again. Go ahead, please. Now the moonstone. Will you part with this precious stone? Only then will I open the gate to you. Okay, fine, when I have to do it again, because I'm going to have to, then I will give it to you. Alright, so, let's do our next set. I'm thinking we'll go to the one on the top left. So this, this one's nothing, this does not mean anything to me. So let's do red next, and try the red one. Actually, do I want to do red next, or do I want to do purple next? Let's see. Purple will lead me to this, and green will lead me to that side, or gray, but it doesn't hit those two left ones, so I think purple might lead you to those ones. Maybe. Maybe purple leads you to those far left ones. If it does, not do want to do purple, just for the sake of exploring everything, you know. Okay, red will take us to that far end. Ugh. Alright, let's do red. Just so we can get those far left middle ones and see all that. So just continue the try to explore every area and see what every little tiny island has, because you never know if, there, if there's a treasure chest or there's something to pick up. So next time we will go to the big area, I think. One of the big areas, because I'm sure that last one that led you to the corner is going to be the final one you want to get to. And I could be wrong, but that's what I would imagine. Did it have any ones that were leading over to this water bridge? Yes, it did. So let's go to this water bridge. See, so this was worth going to. This was worth it. Fireball! That's pretty good. Alright, I'll take that. Can I stun you with this? No. I cannot. Ha ha! Your own friend hurt you, even your friend doesn't like you. You are so uncool. Yeah, I think overall Capricorn is better. Alright, and he dropped the water stone, so that's pretty awesome. We got some more water crystal. We got some more water magic, even though we don't have any water spells yet. So, pretty cool. I wonder if after you give her all the items she requests, maybe that's when she'll teach you water magic. I wonder. But, regardless, let's keep on keeping on. Magician's Key. And another water crystal. So this one was definitely worth going to, because we got a whole bunch of water crystals. Uh, I don't think I'm... well, whatever. I was going to save it until we have actually have water magic to use it with, but whatever. Let's just use it. 
Because it'd be interesting if we actually learn a water spell without having any water. That'd be interesting to me. And I'm gonna switch to the Capricorn. Might as well equip my stronger sword. Have the best of the best as we traverse a new island. No, I'm actually, I'm kind of digging this. This is different than what we've done so far. It's unique. So, you know, I'm digging this. This is pretty cool to me. Sort of a little, like, mini type of puzzle within the game. And since I'm an item hoarder, it's totally fine for me, because I don't need to worry about finding any of these items, because I hoard them all the time. Yeah, this was definitely better, this Capricorn. Where did your coin go? I saw that coin drop. I didn't see it pick up. Maybe it fell into the water. Did Fur be lost? Oh, for a moment it was stuttering. I was like, oh no! Is it gonna stop working? Cool. You see, all this stuff is worth checking out. Like this one now. We've got a uh, magician's key that I can use and the treasure chest. I'm assuming that final island goes to that I couldn't get to any other way other than this one. Alright. I'm not afraid of you guys. I'm not even afraid. I don't. After. Shaddam's area, this ain't nothing. After that poison cave area of crazy spider ladies, you guys aren't a thing. You guys are nothing. You're just walking logs. And what's funny is they were actually really creepy. In Kingsfield 1 to me when I was a kid, they were just very creepy to me. And also they were, they seemed much more powerful. But uh, I guess now you're a little bit well prepared for them. Another water crystal! We're gonna be so strong with water magic that we can't use. I will be using my non-water spells. Check that. Yeah. Look at all that water magic I've got, but I don't got. Okay, so this final island was a worthless island. Oh! Oh, look. That is how you learn magic is in that area. So... Maybe I will go there next, specifically for the sake of learning magic. And then we'll go back to the other area, because that might be where we need to go. We'll figure it all out next time on Key Let's Play Kingsfield 2. Just kidding, we're gonna do it right now. We will do it right now. But next time, after I give the Water Archmage her magic, maybe that's what she, in her mind will make me worthy too. Is once I get that magic, she'll be like, well, you are super worthy. Can I spare her a little so She's just standing there doing nothing. Although I guess she does use magic in her own way. You will always be magical to me. Here's your moonstone. Open the thing for me. I wonder if you kill her. If it just automatically will open up all the time. I'm curious. Please come in. Higher and higher becomes the price. I will open the gate for the fabled fruit of the Dragon King plant. Will you continue onward? Oh, you jerk. You're seriously asking me for a dragon crystal now? What is your problem, lady? Oh my god, she's an awful human being, an awful Archmage. This is the way I really do want to go, but let's learn some water magic, and luckily I do have... I hate her. hate her so much now. Jerk. Alright, I will get you one day. One day I will get you, but after you teach me water magic in this next instance. Ah. Uh... Was I healing while I was on the water? I wonder if the Aquarium boosts do that. Although Earth Shield, I think, heals you MP while you're on Earth. Hmm. Alright. I think the only pathway that is open is the correct pathway. Yeah, so... I should just be following the water bridges straight through. Because I think it's just like a one... One pathway to the deal. You know what's nice though? It seems like the Log Dudes are staying dead. So that's pretty nice. Oh. Wait, there's one over there. Was that one I killed earlier? If it was, not, I, I'm biting my own words right as I said that. I think it was one I killed earlier. Oh, uh, never mind about what I was just saying about them staying dead. Apparently they don't. Well, the nice thing is I still have all the items I picked up. Man, dragon fruit. Well, I guess you can buy some if you like, don't have any, but a lot of people might not even have dragon fruit or run out. Because I think that's a limited item. So, that's kind of not cool. Like, what if you just don't have any and you have lost the game? 
But then maybe you can kill her, and if you kill her, it's just permanently open. I wonder if that would be the case. Could be. Could be the case. And you still have a way to traverse. You just have to kill the evil lady preventing you from making progress and saving the world. She's evil in my mind, because we're just trying to save the world, and she is preventing us from doing this task of saving her and everybody else. Evil. Truly evil. It's like the merchant in Resident Evil 4. It's like, well, even though everything's gone to shit, would you buy items from me instead of me just giving you them so you can save everybody? The price gets steeper and steeper. I'm ready, guys. My body is ready. Accept me. I open my arms to the water. Ah! Whoa. This one might be the coolest one so far. Like, those ice walls are sick. You can see through them. I want to see like a game with updated graphics with something like this. This is actually really cool. I like the... I really like it. How much Alexander has been looking forward to this day. I now bestow upon you the power. The power of water! Yeah! Dragon Ball Z, charge up! Yeah! That's cool. Ripples through the water. All these are very unique and cool. This is something that... From software has always been good about in my mind. I've always liked their character designs, even though the characters are creepy as hell without faces. I still think they do a good job with enemy design. You've begun climbing the great staircase of fate. You cannot come down now. Alexander and I will be watching over you. It's all very, um, it's all very creative to me. I, I enjoy the dark fantasy. I think they're good at creating things that are creepy and scary because they're creepy. I think they're they're good in that sense. I should have learned a lot of magic. You know how many water crystals I've been using? I'm at 32 already. This is higher than my earth magic. Let's see what we learned. We now know. We now know nothing new attack wise. But use magic wise, we now know uh antidote. We now know antidote. Oh crap. If I wanna raise up antidote, but I never used it! I rarely use antidotes. This waterfall is pretty dope. I wonder if you ever have to go back here. It's, it's too bad. You can only sort of barely see it. Only if you're in this faraway spot. I think that's pretty cool. Personally. Personally, I'm a fan. Ah, uh, I might have to use my last gold potion. I'm, well, I guess I can use another stone. But gold potions, I have infinite of, in a sense. So maybe I'll use a gold potion as I'm running low on magic. Which is my own fault for using these fireballs, but why not raise up my fire magic and keep on chugging away with it. Alright, what's up, creature? I'll take you out! Watermelon head! And then I will drink your delicious juices. Your delicious watermelon juices. And they will trickle down the back of my throat. Now, it'd be cool if this Archmage has something new to say to me, because I just got the Archmage magic. That'd be pretty sweet. I hope they do it. Why well, does this dude have something new to say to me now, because I've been walking along these water bridges? I thought with good protective armor I'd be safe from evil creatures, but sometimes I wonder if it's all in vain. I wonder too. No, I don't, because I'm going to save the world, because my name's Lyle Forrester. Remember the name. Alright, that's all he's got new to say to us. So, back in here, do talk to her and have her give us the cold chill. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. She is gone. And it is open. Ha! Don't have to give my dragon crystal away. This is the first one we should have gone to. Ha! Alright, so now I think I've done everything except for what I think is the final one, which is this, because this will probably lead to a new area here. Not this one. I lied. Not this one. This one. No. No. <laughs> no, not this one. Uh, Purple, right? This one! Yeah, this one! Fortunately, I don't think it leads to the fountain, so that's too bad. Kiss a shame. I'm going to use my gold potion. I know I'm not in mortal danger right now, but I figure might as well restore everything. So, made some good progress here. We already uh, finished. We got our water magic now. 
Uh, how many Archmages is that now? Is that, have I met every Archmage? I met Fire, I met Wind, I met Earth, and I met Water. So I've now met all four Archmages. So that was one of my first goals, was to meet all four of Archmages and get all the magic. So I wonder if I return back to Leon, if he'll have something new to say to me. Or if he'll be like, Son, go get me some more Icarus equipment. I don't even care right now. I want more Icarus. So, I'm curious. Is that one of our goals is accomplished. We have done it! We have done it indeed. Let's go fight more fire our blue fireball guys. Ow oh crap! He almost just hit me off. That would have been really funny. But in a way it would have brought me back to the beginning and I could have done all that exploration stuff I wanted to do at the beginning. So maybe it would have been a blessing in disguise. Bless you! I'm gonna say that might kill you. So this should lead us to the big area. Yeah, there we go. Ow! I just stood there as it hit me in the face. Okay. Okay. I know you want to swing it at me. I know you want to swing. But I don't swing that way. Oh! I had to do it. I had to do it. Wow. Interesting that the watermelon head is bigger than the tree guy. Is this a bigger watermelon head? No, I guess not. It just seemed very big when compared to the tree dude. I doubt there's any secret passages, but because I'm on this little island, I just want to check real quick. No. There is an open skull to check. Skeleton has nothing on it. Alright, let's keep on doing the perimeter take down. Take down the perimeter. Take down all the tree people. You. I hear you don't like fire. Taste some fire. And not my sword because I messed up and I'm an idiot. Your friend's going to hit you for me. Even your friend doesn't like you. Nope. 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 Ah. Maybe if I stop being an idiot and fighting these guys better, I wouldn't have had to use my, uh... I wouldn't have had to use my gold potion. Stop being an idiot! And it would be fine. Yeah, how about a fireball to your face? I hear you don't like that. And how about that? Oh. Yeah, apparently fireball is really not that powerful. I'm sure the firewall is. And I got an antidote. Let's continue to explore. What's this over here? Uh, I thought maybe there'd be a new area or something, but I guess not. Just more tree, guys. Just more tree, guys. Good thing. I'm all good. You don't scare me with your tree antlers. Aha! More antidotes. More antidotes. I'm really glad I didn't have to use the Dragon Crystal, I gotta say. I am really glad about that. Alright, so Earth Heal up. Earth Heal up. Let's check the skull. Skeleton. Skull, skeleton. Nothing. Nothing! Alright. These guys. Oh, there we go. There's an opening over there. I see it in the distance. So these guys surprisingly take two hits still. They're gonna stun you and take you down. Alright, we will go there in a moment. Let me actually... Might as well check some of the stuff. Oh, I don't think I noticed this. Ooh, what are you? And some elf arrows. I will check what that is in just a moment. I'm sure it's an item that permanently upgrades something. I would... I am sure of it! I feel like Verdite is better in this game than it was in Kingsfield 1. Just a random aside, Verdite being the item that uses, that raises all your magic, it seems more useful here. Alright, what is it? A power fruit. This is the fruit of a tree which contains Earth's life power. This will increase man's physical strength. So right now I'm at 58 for power, this should make me a 59. 61, whoa, that was a big increase. I'm liking this power fruit. I can feel the power. I can feel it! Ah, ha, 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 ha. I could be an evil enemy in Dark Souls right now. By the way, I laugh. 
So much power. You're wobbling because you can't even handle it. Yeah, look, it's like he's wobbling, like he's stunned. Because it's just that powerful. Ooh, he dropped a crystal flask. Whoa, you know what I just realized is that I was at a blue fountain and I had empty crystal flasks. And I could have filled them all up with blue potion. Oh well. Alright, so here's another area. So we got a couple areas to explore. Alright, let's check out this crevasse first. The crevasse. It's probably a save point. Yep. Save point. Save point. Save point. Which makes sense. It seems like that's uh, where they place a lot of the save points here is in these little crevices. In the land, in the earth. And for those of you guys... Kind of random aside here, but for those of you guys who watched Kingsfield 1, you, I'm, you can really notice, if you guys have been watching this one's concession, just how much different it is. In terms of you're just not stuck in this constant labyrinth the whole time, like in Kingsfield 1. You're outside a lot. There's a lot of varying textures and areas, but they do still have labyrinths. So, uh, that is why I believe a lot of people prefer this as their Kingsfield game of choice. I'm still going to go with Kingsfield 1 and then Kingsfield Ancient City. But this is the game. I'm definitely enjoying my time with it. I am definitely enjoying my time. Take that! Fire magic. Fireball in your face! You want to attack me, but you're dead. So you can't. That's what I do to daddy long legs. Poison mist. What of it? What of it? Just making sure. I didn't think there was anything on the wall. Just want to make sure. Stun you, attack you. I don't even want to deal with your blood poison. I'm calling it blood poison because you are red. I imagine you're poison. Being blood poison. Alright. Might as well check up on top, even though I doubt there's anything. Yeah, so let's drop down. To a new area we go. This one we were able to blaze through a lot faster than the Cave of Shaddam and the Wind Magic Cave. The Cave of Wind. So we should be on our way to a new area. I should, I would believe. No, I want to check the pixie map, actually. Uh-oh. Thought it was freezing for a moment. I'm curious to see if it shows I explored everything. Oh, well, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Whoa. What is this place? What are you place? You are so big and cavernous, and your music is kind of creepy. And the skeletons popped out. Oh, there we go. That was my worry that I was talking about before, of just opening up some of this stuff and skeletons popping out. But at least they are weak enough to fireball and get stunned. Now, these guys are enemies we've fought many times, so this guy might not be so bad after all. Although, there are traps. Kingsfield 1 style traps. Alright, so let's check these walls. These are definitely walls that are going to have secret passages. I just know it. Just look at them. They look like they have secret passages. They just look like it. So, wall checking to the rescue. Alright. Should be safe to get this treasure chest, which might just have another skeleton in it. Beyond that, I don't know. Oh, it's locked. So, let's see if one of our keys works. So... Silver key. That was it. Elf arrow. Hooray. Uh, yay. Well, I guess it's something. I could probably work my way around here. I will we'll do it after I check the other spot. So let's check the other place first. Be a little bit safe. Just, just you know, just a little bit. Check these walls, because might as well. And the Cave of Poison was just chock full of secret passages, but this one not as heavy. I mean, so far it's got none, so it's not as heavy at all. Hmm. Treasure chest that has been opened. Okay. So this area... We'll probably have more skeleton chests, I would imagine. Skeleton chest? Skeleton chest? Nope, poison chest. Alright. What do you know? Now I can use antidote. And look at those wonderful bubbles. Silver key? No. Copper key? There we go. He has so many keys. This is wonderful. Even if it just gets us a bloodstone. Alright, so not much in here yet. Let's go ahead and check the walls. Now, I know in Kingsfield 1, sometimes these types of things, these pillars, had secret passages. Just like little openings with items in them. 
So sometimes you'll see me check them because of that, but I, I think most of the time it's not going to have anything. It will not bear any power fruit. This seemed like the type of room that would have a secret passage, but I guess not. We got one more wall to check, though. One more wall to check. Last time I uploaded a Kingsfield video, uh, it immediately uploaded a video of just a wall like this. And I was like, well, I guess it makes sense. That is how a lot of my playthroughs look a lot of the time. A lot of the time will be spent rubbing up against walls. That looks like a trap. But it might not be. Hey, that definitely is a trap. On the ground there. But we can get across. Alright, let's check these walls. So now we have spike traps on the ground. This area's got all sorts of trouble. All sorts of traps. Spiky maze balls, spiky ground. What next? Alright. What is over here in the area that has fires? Do I even want to go to this area right now? Kind of now, like, I was going in one direction, I changed it up. Why did I do that? There's just so much to explore. Yeah, you want to attack me, but you can't. Alright, this looks like there's probably a secret passage here, but maybe they're just playing with me. Oh, you guys are such players. Damn you, from soft. At least we got a moonstone. Ah! There are secret passages. Confirmed! Confirmation. Empty? What was that? Whoa, what the... Uh, <laughs> That's fun. I, that's pretty funny. I didn't even realize there was a filler. Like, wait a second. Who the hell did I just walk? What if I just walked into spikes? Could have easily done that. Alright. What is it with you, giant hallway that made my game freeze for a moment? Antidotes, that is what's with you. And more antidotes. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's check these walls. You know the drill by now. You know the drill. Sorry if it's boring to watch. Okay, this wall. Check it. Kind of curious about my pixie map. I'm really curious about my pixie map back at Lake Noel. And now that I think about it, I got a truth glass. Why haven't I truth glassed this area yet? Let's find out the truth about where we are. Truth glass. Where are we? We are at... Skull Soldiers. Those knights who fought as soldiers of Verda and died in battle have been resurrected by... What? Am I facing a skeleton or something? This is the land of Skull Soldiers. The Path of Thieves. Mages and merchants use this underground passage as a place to hide their precious belongings during times of war. Due to the numerous traps set to protect the treasures, these are now the only people who venture here. Oh, so this is indeed a trap-infested place. But that makes it even more clear that there will probably be more secret walls, because that's what you would do if you're hiding treasures. You hide secret walls in this game. So... I wonder if these guys are supposed to be thieves in this area, but I don't know why they have a giant ass sword if they're supposed to be thieves. Alright. Path to those, though, it seems like it's supposed to be kind of ominous. Like, hey, you're getting close. This is probably close to the kingdom if you think about it. The Path of Thieves. Seems like it to me, at least. Alright. Almost. All right, done with that room. This area is so big. That looks like more traps. All right, let's check out this room first. This area is just so big, I just don't know where to go. I'm like, there's so many areas to check out. All right, let's try the silver key. Aha! Silver key it is for, ooh, new boots. What are you? Hopefully I won't forget if I equip them. The silver boots. These boots are made of sacred silver. They are worn by high-ranking officers. They have high resistance against poison. So if I really want poison resistance, I would equip that on top of everything else. Let's find out how it stacks up. 66, 49, 58. 66, 49, 58. 66, 49, 58. 66, 49, 58. 66, 49, 58. 
Uh, alright, so it's only better with blow protection and poison, so... I'm gonna go ahead and equip, re equip my Aquarium Boost just in case I want to travel back, just so I don't forget, like, hey, you're trying to travel across waters of, like, uh, bridges of water, but you can't because you forgot to equip your Aquarium Boots, you idiot. Don't want that to happen to me just yet. It can happen to me eventually, but not quite yet. Don't want to, don't want to forget about that. Alright. This area is giant! It is so massive! So many walls for me to check. Oh, crap. Not those guys. We will come back. Because I hate those guys. Alright. Where are we now? What if we... Where does this lead to? What does my pixie map tell me? Pixie map! To the rescue! Definitely in a new area. I wonder if this is going to be the exit. It probably is. Probably... But, I'm curious to see where it leads to. Where do you lead to? Probably exit. You do lead to an exit. Back to the red skies. This has some really epic, like, danger music. Sounds like a war zone, almost. The Cave of the Dwarf. When the dwarves were chased from the land of Garen, many settled here. Promise was rumored to be found here. However, did this day... None have been discovered. Dwarfs began to migrate to other countries and only two remain here. Alright, so this is where we're gonna end up heading uh, eventually. But before we do, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and travel back into the Cave of Thieves and finish it up. So, I don't want to leave the path pathway of Thieves behind. But at least we know where that heads to. Alright. Check you walls. It's like I want to just feel like every area I've been to and explored already, I don't have to re go through and check the walls again. That's my goal here. Alright. If only I remembered. If only I remembered. How about this? Are any of you walls good? You are not. Bad wall. Bad. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm checking those like tiny ones. Alright, so we have a drop-off here. We will come back. We'll come back to the drop-off. Let's explore the higher ground first. This... Whoa. Another area that might lead to somewhere new and different. And a save point. Alright, let's go ahead and save the game. And then I will check out what that green area leads to because I'm really curious. And then that'll probably wrap up this Let's Play because we're getting pretty long here. And I'm trying not to make them an hour long every time because that is so long. As fun as it may be. But trying to save it from being not quite that long. Oh, that's locked. And what can I possibly use? A jail key. A Silvieris key. A magician's key. A silver key. A copper key. Yeah, I didn't think it would work. It was worth trying, though. Alright, we will hop off then. Because I feel bad for not exploring another area. And then we will eventually come back. Hop! You're dark away from me. Ah, damn it. Oh, wait, I'll wait till I get hit by that one, and then I'll use my bloodstone. Bloodstone, to the rescue! Yeah, you thought that you were dangerous, but then you didn't know I had bloodstones. Yeah. Well, I might need to use light magic at some point here, because they keep on shooting this dark crap at me. Alright, at least two of them are gone. This is a little more manageable. I didn't even realize I was running into a room of four of these guys. Yeah! More strength up. Sweet. I was kind of worried that uh, if I got one strength up, then... Um... Damn it. Oh well. Light's actually working pretty well here. Anyways, I was kind of worried that if I used that strength uh, potion, I don't... Oh, more Silvieras keys. This kind of makes me want to go back to the ancient battlefield and figure out if I... I'm done with those Silviera keys just so I can have an overabundance of Silviera keys for whatever we're going to be led to where we need Silviera keys. Anyways, I forgot what I was talking about. I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. My train of thought is in. Wait, oh, I don't need to check that. That's not a wall that would ever have a passage. Let's check this wall. That's just 
what happens when you have a light spell on you. Alright. What about these walls? Check these walls. Staircase is not going to have anything though, so I don't know why I'm doing it. Other than the sake of we're doing it. it keeps on like, kind of stuttering a bit right now. I don't know why. So maybe I should just save and wrap up. Just in case. When I'm back at a save point. Alright, this looks like a familiar area. Looks like it. But it's not. It is not a familiar area. Alright, I thought maybe this was the beginning again since we saw that cave green thing. Alright, what is through here in this area? It is just a giant wraparound. Fine. Fine by me. Fine by me, giant wraparound. Alright, let's check the walls of the giant wraparound. And see if there is anything. There haven't really been many secret passages, so I feel bad that I keep doing this, but I really think that there's going to be an important one. Alright, another room to check. Trap? No. Silver key or copper key? Which are you? You are a copper key. And a moonstone. So maybe this area will have... something. Alright, there we go. There's our secret passage. Finally! We have done it! We have found a secret passage. But I gotta reapply light. Maybe it's good that I'm using light though, because I do want to level up my light stats. And I think this is my only light spell I have, is light. So... In that sense is good. Hello! There are pentagrams, they are probably traps. I would assume this time around they are not good. Oh, what the... Permanent... Maybe if I kill you, that will kill the pentagrams. I think this is like a boss type of one. That would be my guess. Oh, man. Get your legion off of me! I don't have any gold potions. Okay, I killed him. Killed him? He dropped some armor, so that's pretty sweet. And the pentagrams are, in fact, gone, so I was correct about that. Get away from me! Not doing too good of a job killing him. What is this? This is some pretty cool-looking armor. Alright, let's see. It is the... Fire mail. Or Laden, the great Archmage, gave this fire armor to this dis fire armor to his disciple Sadek, the fire mage. The armor will protect against fire magic. Let's see how much better it is. 66, 49, 58. 66, 49, 66, 49, 58? Yeah, 66, 49, 58. 66, 49, 58. 66, 49, 50. What the fuck? Ah, it's not. It's actually a lot worse, other than fire protection. So fire protection is actually badass, if you look at that. 77 fire magic protection now. Uh, but, that's also because I have the fire knuckles. But the high metal armor has much more physical defense, so... Oh well, I'm glad we got it. I mean, who knows, maybe we'll, when we end up in an area where we're fighting fire creatures, this could be super helpful. So, good thing we got it. And that would be one secret, so hey, there we go. Found a secret, at least. So, I'm, I'm doing good about it. Doing good with that. Uh, let me check my pixie map, because I felt I just felt far away from everything. Yeah, I need to find another... Uh, maybe this green thing will lead me to another area, then. Or another pass pathway I can take. Because I think this is the only pathway at the moment. It is a big pathway. But at least, for the time being, I will not be worrying about... Oh, I didn't even notice those guys in the front. They blended in so well. Alright, let me use a moon stone, because... I want to use a earther heal and... Yeah. Alright. Did not realize there's slimes all over the ground! So, alright, this was just a giant slime room. Let's check out our... Map now. Pixie map. Hmm. Kinda wanna get back to that save point because we're getting late here and we will come back, so that's what we're gonna try and do for the moment. And we will we'll come back. Don't worry guys. I'll come back to all this. For the time being though, it's gonna probably be some save getting to a save point. Now there could just be another random save point over here. That could be the case, so 
that's probably worth checking for, but I really would like to not have this go over an hour, because <laughs> it's getting close. Alright, let's try this way. Where do you lead? Another passageway. And is this leading me out to somewhere new? Seems like it is. It is. Now where am I? I am in the village of Kassan. The village is protected by the old swordsman Olivier Veyrick and by the steep cliffs surrounding the village for a whole, villagers have enjoyed peace even after King Alfred's transformation. So that's pretty, that's nice to hear. So wow, this passageway of thieves really leads to a lot of different areas. Alright, this is probably that guy's house. And let's see. The village of Kassan. Let's see if there's any... Alright, we'll come back here. We will come back to Kassan. We will come back. I do want to try and get back to that save point and finish the passageway of thieves. There's so many areas for us to explore now. This game just blew up. It's so big. Alright. Screw you, Kassan. I'm going back to the thief area. Hopefully you guys aren't jerks like everyone in Lugo. I'm hoping Kassan is a cooler town. They probably are since they're safe. Well, I mean, I guess in a sense where Lugo's safe because they're all alive there. Alright, where will this lead me to now? Oh, here we go. So... Turning off the traps. We are back. So this is a shortcut and a way to get back to this area. Wise fruit, wise fruit. Power fruit. I'll take that. I will take a power fruit any day. You know I love it. It's so delicious. So delicious. I will eat that power all up. 65 power. Alright, so now we can check these walls. So that's pretty cool. Now that these traps are all gone. Whoa, did that one... It's so close to my head, I was like, oh my god! Is it still there? Alright. What about you, treasure chest? Are you the one I'd already opened? Probably. I think this is the beginning again. Let me use my pixie map to confirm. So I'm pretty positive. Yeah, so we finally wrapped back around. Alright, so next area for me to check out. Uh... Alright. I was like, wait, I haven't explored this area yet, but that's just because it's the exit. Alright. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and get back to the beginning. Ah, I just want to check this, because it's here. It's right here. Wait, I already did check it. Ooh. Throwing it off. Oh, it's the spike area I didn't check. This is the area I haven't checked out yet. The spike area, because there were spikes. Alright, because I'm here, I will check it out. I will check it out because I'm here. This is gonna end up going up over an hour again! I can't help myself. I just can't help myself. Of course. Of course. But now it's only one hit! Now that I got so much power! I'm growing stronger! It's over 9,000! Or something like that. Check these walls, and I think all those chests are probably going to be empty. I think I already checked them, but I'll check again. Empty, and empty as well. Alright. Well, now I'm kind of glad I came back here, just for the sake of checking everything. I could probably run across here. Let me wall hug. Yes, I guess I can. And I was checking for secret passages. Double working it. That's how you do it. So, we are safe from the, fi the trap of spike death for now. Alright, skeleton. Just wait a moment. Just wait for me to recharge and we'll be good. Then we can play. Alright, this area is so far good. Alright. Checking this. Oh, seems like it's just a circular wraparound. Oh. Well, it is a circular wraparound, but... Uh, there is a passage, what do you know? I mean, there's... I'm glad, I mean, there should have been, because we haven't found anything yet. 
Alright, let's check these walls now, because you never know. This is one of those pillars that's big enough that it could have something in it. I mean, we found two passages, so we're finding stuff. Alright, here we go. I explored it. New area. New area. Just wait a moment, I'm recharging. Just, just wait a moment. Okay. Your time is now! And your time is now. These areas are so big. I just feel bad that I'm checking all these walls. But at the beginning, I guess I wasn't checking the walls at all. So we had less wall checking in the beginning of this playthrough. Alright. That was probably not safe of me. To just be checking without looking. Well, here's what the wrap-up was. It was all for an earth herb. And a tombstone. Pizza. So there probably will be a secret passage, because otherwise this area would have been kind of pointless. There we go. I could hear people, sw like, some swinging, so it seemed like there would be. And it was you who was swinging, wasn't it? Let's see if there's any other secret passages. Double secret passage? Maybe. Maybe. Rob oh, that's where I came from. And let's just check to make sure there's not a double one in here. So, I don't think so. All right. Not a surprise. I thought that was gonna be a magician's key one. All right. So far, no monsters popping out. Uh, poison trap though. That's fine. Let me open up the rest of them to make sure. All right. Here we go. Another trap one. So two were traps, two were not. And I can use antidote. Raise up that water magic. And so far, nothing. A verdite! This is all for a verdite. And oh! Ooh, what is this? What does it. The gold ring? I don't know what it does, let's equip it. <laughs> Might as well. Might as well. <laughs> so, silver ring is for poison. I wonder if gold ring is general status effects. Resistance. Actually, I should probably check my. Uh, I don't notice anything having gone up, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the gold ring is. I'm curious. Unless it was just my general defense. That could be the case. Oops, I wanted a conversation by accident. Uh, no, I don't think so. Hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, whatever it is, I'm glad we found it. We found a gold ring, and we found a verdite, so... There we go. Knock this one out of the way. Let us move on. Now to the save point. Now that I am over an hour. I can't help myself. Pixie's mad. It... Oh, what's to the left? Ah, what is to the left? Why didn't I explore this area? There's nothing in here. Except for a wise, wisdom fruit? No. Not a wisdom fruit. I should have just explored this area. Well, now I'm exploring it. So I'm going to have to decide which area to go to next, because, I mean, we could return to the beginning now that we found all four Archmages. Check all the chests, see if uh, there's anything new that Kelphi has to say to us, and keep on making progress, and I can hopefully open up the Silviera Key area, open up that chest, and then get on with collect up my Silviera Keys. Or we could keep on trudging forward, so, uh, some decisions to make here for the next Let's Play. And if there's anything you particularly want to see me uh, do, let me know. Or if some of you guys, like Mr. Master Devil, for example, um, or Fess, I believe, who also knows this game pretty well, uh, has an idea of what you think, let me know. But, uh, we will decide next time, so let me find the save point. I guess I should just go to the left, shouldn't I? Alright, let's finish this area. We'll wrap up two. This is a twofer. Oh, no, maybe it's not. This area is very big. What, another Sylvia's key? Ah, shot! Well, that answers what we're going to do. I didn't even see the trap that killed me. I figured there were traps in this area. Uh, well, hey, what do you know? We're gonna be in Kist for now. That is what we're going to do, is hang out in Kist. And let's go talk to Kelfie, because we're right here. Hey, Kelfie, hey, Kelfie, guess what? I found the four Archmages. Guess what, guess what? Hey, Kelfie. 
Time is running out fast. 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 All right. Our conundrum has been answered for us. So this is a good thing. I can go fill up on gold potions now that I have a bunch of them. And I can explore all these areas. So this kind of answers everything for me of what to do next. So there we go. Next time on Let's Play Kingsville 2, I will do everything in this area. Except for right now, I want to do this. I believe, according to Mr. Master Devil, I'm supposed to attack this thing with light magic. And my, I'm just going to assume my ex-elector has light magic. Because I am of the light family, so it probably has light magic. Do you have light magic? No. Really? Uh, I thought it would. Sealed. Hmm. Equip. Let's try the Volgard, because that looks pretty holy. We can try some holy on this. Holy. No. Fire? No. Okay. Uh, what else should I try? I've got flame. And, our, and wind cutter. Wing cutter did nothing. Flame! Flame hurts it. So there you go. Alright. Oh! Because this hero, the statue of the hero, that must not be Silviera, even though I figured it was. Maybe it's the uh, the vice commander. If the way to open it was um, with flame, which is described as the of uh, Vice Commander Kane. Well, he's the Vice Commander Silviera, so maybe that's why his sword was the secret way to open it up. Thank you for the tip, Mr. Master Devil. That was thanks to Mr. Master Devil. He was the one who told me I should do this. So we have gotten a new sword. What are you, new sword? You are the Silvieran. Silvarian, the Silvarian. This sword was created for the three people other than the House Forester who were granted the title of Swordmaster. It has the power of light. So let's check it out. So I've got 83, 76, 38. 83, 76, 38. 83, 76, 38. 83, 76, 38. 83. So it's a lot less powerful, except it has holy magic, which is light magic. So. Capricorn's probably still better, but I have a feeling this one's going to swing much faster. Actually, the swing's still pretty slow. Eh, whatever. I'm going to use it for a little bit just because it'll be fun to be like, I'm Silviera, and then we can go talk to the, uh, the captain with the sword. We've also got some more stuff to check out in, um, in Kist. So, we have more things to do. Actually, wait a second. Wait a second. Let me truth glass Kist before I forget. Kissed. A few high elves lived here, but there were no humans. On the day of the seal, a few families moved here as they followed Leon to get farther away from the castle. So, there you go. Kind of a really small, rinky-dink town, is what it describes as. Alright, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Again, sorry for going long, as always. I can't help myself. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.